And there is a yellow in turn four, guys. Oh, uh, Graham Rahal. Yes, unfortunately, Graham Rahal, who was running in the top ten, has crashed and turned four and has brought out our eighth caution, just one shy of our record here at Richmond International Raceway. You don't have that knowledge. You don't have that base to go back on. Now, that's a single car situation, just possibly carrying some too much speed going into the turn or back into the car is just a little bit loose. You can see here from looking forward from Hideki Muto's car, the back end just starts to come around on the car in front. That is the difference between someone just protecting and... Oh, oh no! We got a couple of cars in trouble. One was Graham Rahal, Milka, Milka Duno, Duno coming into the screen now. And Milka was just on the low side of the track and Graham had spun coming off there and just kind of came down and clipped her and we'll <laughs> take another look at that and see how it all started. Wow. Uh, EJ Viso. Yep, there is another car that was behind. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so there's Viso yeah. in the wall. We never yeah. even saw him yeah. as part of that, but that was coming off a of turn two. And turn two is absolutely the toughest corner here because you just drop out of out of the bowl there and it really flattens up. And if the car's pushing, let's watch. Oh, Graham Rahal, it, it seemed to step out. He did. Yep. It seemed to step out on its own. And again, so that's, as you come off a of turn two here, it really flattens out. And if the car's pushing it all... And the first full course caution is out at Long Beach. It involves a two-car accident involving Graham Rahal and Mario Romancini. It's in turn number one. Into one. Wow. That was a late dive bomb there. Yeah, because what constitutes a really clean pass is pull up alongside him. Yeah, he, and he just poked it. you got to yeah. be up alongside the guy to take the corner away. You can even see Graham check the mirror, then turn, then powie. Yeah. And, and look at how he see, takes man. his yeah. hands right back off the hands. wheel. comes down because he did not get that good qualifying lap yesterday. We talked about him being the fastest many times throughout the day. Now a lot of movement here very early on. You can see the car starting to go sideways there. We'll have to see who that is. Starting to go around. That's Mike Conway, the 27. And as he comes back off the track towards the infield, unfortunately, Graham was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Remember, the very first lap, Tires are cold. Temperatures are a little cooler here today than they have been the past couple of days. Also, cars in front of you. Whoa, what the heck? Oh, that's not good. That's Marco. He went in hard. And this will bring out a full course caution. Absolutely. Wow. And that was... Look, I just, I, you know, there's a bunch of cars yeah. bouncing around back there when they came out of that corner. I wonder if there's something laying on the track. Cam Ray Hall, He's got no rear weight. They come in here. Oh my. Wow. Oh yeah, that was... He almost flipped over, didn't he? The timing for a rookie though is going to be... Whoa! Oh, trouble back in the pack and contact into the wall and we're going to have a caution as Graham Rahal has yellow, tagged yellow, the wall. Yellow, 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 third two. Now we're going to see how this restart works. Well, if we get that far, remember Tony has lost a couple of 500s because of the yellows. Here's what happened. Uh, We've seen a lot of that today. And you know, Eddie, when that happens, you're trying to catch the car, you get behind it on the steering, and then at over 200 miles an hour, you just become a passenger, which is exactly what happened to Graham Rahal. His sixth Indianapolis 500, the third time he has crashed out. It starts here. Oh. Smartly takes his hands off the wheel. So he doesn't get a hand injury. So the caution is going to come out in that restart mayhem on the front stretch. Graham Rahal's car came to rest against the outside wall. And he's out of it. I really don't like these new rules they're using for the restarts. It's too confusing. Where do they accelerate? Where they don't accelerate? And inevitably in the back of the line, too many regulations. You see those orange markers on the outside? That's the acceleration zone where the leader's supposed to begin to accelerate. 
And it, it, just have them accelerate as they come out of the corner. Well, as I understand it, the object is to try and get the field straight on the straightaway before you begin to accelerate up to speed, rather than having cars still charging out of that corner at top speed. Look at that. That's such a wasted bunch of race cars that doesn't that just doesn't need to happen. I think that might just stick. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, oh. And it's Graham Rahal! Championship implications here, big time! That's a big hit right there. Wow. Who was it with? It was with one of the coin cars, Tristan Vautier. Tristan Vautier and Graham Rahal. His championship hopes have just taken a whopping hit. The pit lane with the fuel. Outside, inside, inside, side Whoa. by side, three wide. Oh. I don't know if it Tristan was had anything to do it with that. It was Justin Wilson. Yeah, Wilson was uh, chopped him and he got loose. Well, oh, man, oh. maybe. Oh, 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 oh. That tells us a very yeah, different story. Yeah, that's a pretty brave move by Tristan to stuff it in there three wide. Yeah. At turn three, that's not going to go. Where was Fote going to go? Exactly. Where was he? What was he? Nah, just a little bit soft on the exit, but further Whoa. back, there's some wheel to wheel action and a big, big crash. crash. Graham Rahal, I believe. That was a big one. He went head on into the wall. It looked like he was on the yeah, inside okay, of one of the Foyt cars and got it sideways. He's down on the inside right here, and he pinches it, and he just loses it there. And I think there was contact with Kimball. I believe that was Charlie Kimball that was trying to defend, and as Kimball came off the corner, I think he clipped Ray Hall. So there's Ray Hall up the inside of the black and green car, Charlie Kimball, and I think there might have just been contact right there. And the incident is under review because of that contact. Wow, that was a big impact. Didn't you just have a sense something was coming with all these fast guys wanting to get You had no chance. They were pretty spread out as they go side by side. Pagano making a move. Oh, 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 oh turn one. Hard big contact crash. into the wall. Michaela Lotion loses it down low. Marco oh, Andretti they're piling into him. Several cars taken out. Marco Andretti. The guy who made the move on the start was uh, J. Oh, but Sebastian, Sebastian Bourdais. Bourdais here. Big hit in the side pod. Finish. Graham Rahal's out of his car already. He's got damage. It's on the ground. He's got a flat tire damage to the car, so he's going to end it. Drivers this year and aggressive driving, and he just it just got away from him. Cold tires, slick track. Hunter Ray barely got around that. Barely snuck by. There were four wide behind him, and there's still guys coming in here that piled oh. in. Oh. Yeah, that was Graham there. Rahal trying to sneak through the middle of Max Chilton and the wrecking cars of uh, Lotion Andretti. and Marco Andretti. Here's a great shot from up above. Yeah, he's got Dixon right on his hip there. And he, it just came out from under him. So close for Rahal, almost getting through. And got tagged by McKeel and sent him. To the end before a caution. Oh, and here look it is. At Graham Rahal has hit the wall. I'm sorry, boys. I have no, absolutely no clue what happened. Snap so huge on the entry, and uh, I have no clue. High speed section. He's out of the turn. Over the bumps. Oh, the tire yeah. caved on the Ooh. left rear. Did you see that? That was very interesting. Did getting yep. that right front so far up on the curbing? Just kick the yeah. car like that? Yeah, wow. I, I think Huge it's hit. Wow. right front tire. Pagano now needs to now save fuel. He can't let Rossi go. Oh, we got a crash. And that is what Pagano needed when he was in the lead. Sebastian Bourdais is in it. Sebastian Bourdais, Felix Rosenquist, Zach Veach, Charlie Kimball. This is huge. Pagano needed that to happen about five seconds beforehand. Driver standing next to the car. Here, Let's ride here with we Ray go. Hall. Got a car coming out of the pits. He gets a run. Gets down the inside, and he's just oh, oh they touch oh. wheels and they touch. Oh. So he was obviously upset with Sebastian Bourdais that he turned in on him when he was there. He hasn't even stopped yet. He's trying to discuss. That wasn't that wasn't a nice gesture slap on the head. That was a slap on the head. Hey, I'm mad at you. Well. Ray Hall was about a quarter of the way up, 
Mitchell, we've got an eye board of that. Here's a different angle. Oh, look at Bordet's car climb. Beach is into the wall. Andretti gets through. Dixon gets through. Kimball doesn't. Rosenquist doesn't. Harvey does. Connor Daly had the incident right away. Caution is out. Oh, oh no, Graham man. Rahal. Wild stuff on the first lap. We thought it we're was going to be the, hard. We thought it was going to be the rookies that were making the mistakes, but we got vets out here making mistakes. Ray down. Hall and Hunter Ray, both with great starting positions, both with strong races yesterday. Jack Harvey, and this is the Graham Ray Hall exiting turn oh. three. He high centered on the exit curve. Ooh. Oh boy! Hit Vicious hit to hit the end of that concrete block, Paul. Move the block over about two or three feet. Here, listen, so listen he to turns it. Turns in. Will Power again makes contact with another driver. Oh, oh yellow, full force yellow. <laughs> Didn't Will Power say? Pato Award. They both became first time winners. Oh, oh Ray, Ray, Ray Hall. Crash. Ray Hall lost it out of the pits. Cold right tires. in front of the leaders. That was oh, oh, oh a tire was hit. And that's a tire good. went into the infield. He was coming out and trying to hustle it on the warm up lane, and it's so easy to do. Cold tires, narrow track, and he lost it right in front of the field, and it was a hard hit into the wall. That's why it got hit? Look. Not his fault at all. Oh, it did. Oh, my gosh. And then that tire rolled out into the middle of the track, bounced off the wall, right into Connor Daly's path, oh. and he hit it like a football. Nothing Graham Ray Hall could do. We thought he lost it, and he didn't. He just lost the left rear. Now, watch this here. For Alex Pillow, for Elio Castro Neves, Pato Award. Renus VK, Hunter Ray Sato, Herder, and the one that comes through next is Connor Daly. Connor Daly's nose definitely has some damage. There's a gap in the seam where the nose meets the rest of the car. Now watch this here. Here it comes. He drop kicks it. Yeah, Connor Boom. Daly's probably going 100. Everybody trying to figure out which way the car in front of them, James, is going to go. There's out. a big crash. Three cars in the wall. De Francesco. One of the Meyer Shane cars is Elio involved. Elio Castro Neves and Graham Rahal. Graham Rahal. Oh, man, that's a tough one. Can't wait to get a replay of what happened there. But as you would say, Townsend, the, yeah, the, tire, the tires are cold. Sorry, there's more marbles, there's more dirt and debris as the race has gone on. That high line kind of gets tougher and tougher to make work. And those guys and girls with us. So Looking back, and DeFrancesco was low. They were three wide with Graham Rahal in the middle. I'm not sure who the aggressor was there. It's tough to tell if Devlin was trying to make it a three wide party or if if Elio was more coming to, we'll have to tell you. I want to see it, I want to see it start sooner there. I need to see a little bit earlier as to how they